Well, we are just days away from the Iowa caucus on Monday, and Republican presidential candidates are making their final arguments. It turns out the weather could make things very difficult. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But for now, let's hear from the candidates. They're back on the campaign trail after a heated debate last night. We're going to rein in the bureaucracy uh, when I'm president because I think it's out of control. It's not something that's responsive uh, to, to the American people. And right now, we've got a country in disarray and a world on fire. And you are four days away from voting in the caucus. Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley trying to convince voters they're the best alternative to former President Donald Trump ahead of the Iowa caucus on Monday. The two went head to head on the debate stage Wednesday night. If leadership's about getting things done, how did you blow through $150 million in your campaign and you were down in the polls? So here, you here's are I not a manager. No, I think I hit a nerve. This is a great window into leadership because she focused on a lot of political uh, process stuff, things that no voter cares about. DeSantis and Haley clashed on most issues like the economy, immigration, and abortion. They did agree on one thing. Donald Trump should have been on stage with them. He chose not to attend as he has skipped all of the other debates. So far, that has worked out pretty well for him. This one-on-one -on -one debate between Haley and DeSantis featured a lot of them calling each other liars, arguing about their records on foreign policy, their conservative credentials. Instead, Trump held his own town hall several miles away, airing live on Fox News Channel at the same time. I'm going to be a dictator for one day. We're going to do two things, the border, we're going to make it so tight you can't get in unless you come in legally. And the other is energy. We're going to drill, baby, drill. After that, I'm not going to be a dictator. And keep in mind, temperatures in Iowa are expected to be dangerously cold on caucus day, with some forecasts showing they could dip below zero. So there is now concern about voter turnout. Stay with ABC 10 for updates.